At the top of the page, it says for any right triangle, certain ratios are constant. So that means the ratios are the same for the acute angles in the triangle. So these ratios allow us to find a missing side or angle. We're not going to find a missing side or angle yet today. We're going to practice setting up the ratios. We'll start um, day three with finding the measure of a side using these ratios and then day four is actually finding the measure of an angle. So giving some of the information about the right triangle, the sine, cosine, and tangent are the most commonly used. So the sine ratio, okay, that's why you have a bar for the fraction. Sine is the length of the leg opposite the angle over the hypotenuse. I should say length of the hypotenuse. Cosine is the length of the leg adjacent the angle over the length of the hypotenuse. I apologize for my messy handwriting. So both of your ratios, so if you write the ratio for sine and cosine of the same angle, you should have the same number in the denominator because they're both comparing, one's comparing the leg opposite over the hypotenuse, the other one's comparing the leg adjacent to the hypotenuse. And then tangent is the length of the leg opposite the angle over the length of the leg adjacent the angle. We use the phrase so katoa to help us remember this. The so comes from the sine as opposite over hypotenuse. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The ka for cosine, the c is for adjacent over hypotenuse. So c a h. And toa, t for tangent, is opposite over adjacent. So SOCATO is something you probably will want to write at the top of your first quiz. So let's practice. Using the diagram all the way to the right, we're going to write the ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent of A and B. Remember, you're writing them, um, the ratios for the acute angles. A and B are the acute angles in that picture. So A represents the length of BC, B represents the length of AC, and C represents the length of AB. So let's do sine and cosine and tangent of A first. So let's do this whole left side. So looking at angle A, this side is opposite, and this side of the triangle is adjacent to that angle. The adjacent side will always be one of the sides that actually forms the angle, okay? So if I want to do, once again, both of these ratios are over the hypotenuse, so they're both going to be over, for sine and cosine, they're both going to be over C, because they're the same, except for sine is opposite, so that's going to be A over C, where cosine is B over C. And then tangent of angle A is going to be O over A for TOA, opposite over adjacent, was going to be A over B. Since I'm using the same triangle to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of B, I'm going to erase my markings because according to B, this side is now the opposite. This side is now adjacent. So sine of B Sine is the so, so katoa, 
opposite is B over hypotenuse C. So B over C. Cosine adjacent is A divided by C. And then last, TOA is B over A. Now, I want you to highlight, if you have a highlighter, if you don't, you can circle it. These two ratios are the same. The sine of A is equal to the cosine of B. Because you're looking at the ratio of the same two sides. Same with the other one. Um, sine of B is equal to the cosine of A. That will always happen. Um, it's because, whoops, A and B are acute. Okay? Um, but more importantly, they are complementary. That's why that happens. Okay? And you'll see that in the sheet. So let's go down and look at example number one. Oh, up here on your um, calculator, I wanted you just to highlight, I want you to circle that you need to be in degree mode and the mode button is right here. So make sure, this is just to note that your calculators have to be in degree mode. Number one, in right triangle ABC, C is the right angle. Doesn't matter where A and B are. Length AC is 12, length AB is 13. That must mean the length of CB is 5 because it's a Pythagorean triple. Now I want to find the tangent of A. Tangent of A, well A is right here. Um, tangent of any angle is opposite over adjacent, TOA, so could TOA. So the tangent of A is going to be the side opposite. So side opposite is 5 over the side adjacent, which is 12. So the tangent of A is 5 over 12. You could also write, what's the decimal equivalent to 5 twelfths? 5 over 12 gives you the decimal, or gives us the decimal point. So I'll run 6, 7. That's also the same thing, the approximation. That's what you see on your trig table. But when you're giving the answer, I want this one. Why do I want the fraction? Because it's exact. Exactly. <laughs> so we're always going to write it in terms of the um, fraction and not the decimal. So let's take a look at it. We're going to use our calculators to check our work. So based on this is one of our special rate triangles. If you look at the relationships, it's the 30, 60, 90. The shorter leg is half the hypotenuse, and the leg opposite is half the hypotenuse, radical 3. We just don't typically write the 1. So sine of 30. So sine, if you want to write it, here's your so ka toa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is 1 over hypotenuse. The cosine of 30 is adjacent. So here's the side adjacent. So that's radical 3 over 2. And since the radical is in the numerator, I don't have to rationalize it because we only rationalize the denominator. For tangent of 30, that's opposite over adjacent. So 1 over radical 3. I have to rationalize the denominator. So I have to multiply by radical 3 over radical 3 to get radical 3 over 3. Now for the other angle, so I'll use a different color, but right away, do you know any of those right from the start without looking at the triangle? 
if the sine of 30 is 1 half, what should be the cosine of 60? 1 half. If you look, sine of 30 is opposite this side over hypotenuse, that side. When you look at the cosine of 60, that's adjacent, which is the same side over the hypotenuse. So this should be the same. What else should be the same? Is something else in our other column. Kylie? The sine of 60. That should be radical 3 over 2, as that's the same as the cosine of 30, because 60 and 30 are complementary. So that means we're looking at the same triangle. So the last part, I want to do the tangent of 60. So the tangent of 60, the TOA, is opposite over adjacent. Radical 3 over 1 is just simply radical 3. So at number 3, use your calculator to find each trigonometric ratio round to the nearest 10,000. So that's out four decimal places. So when I'm looking for the sine of 42, again, I'm going to use my table, as I don't have a calculator, you can use either one. And the sine of 42 is 0 0.6691. What's the cosine of 48? Same thing, right? Why is it the same, or why should it be the same? So 0 0.6691. So in this right triangle over here, when I was finding the sine of an angle, um, well, I can actually put in 42. Cosine of 42 is this sine over hypotenuse. The complement of the 42 angle is 48. And when you're looking at cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, you're looking at the same exact ratio. So if you can memorize that, that will always happen. Okay? Number four. We need to, given the lengths of all the sides, what is the value of the sine of B plus the cosine of B? So we're going to be adding, let's first find the sine of B plus the cosine of B. Sine of B, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite is 24 over the hypotenuse of 25. Cosine of B is adjacent, so plus 7 over hypotenuse, 25. Adding sine and cosine, I'm going to tell you right now, you always have a common denominator because they're both over the hypotenuse. If you had to add a sine and a tangent or a cosine and a tangent, you're going to have to get common denominators and add them together. 7 over 25 plus 24 over 25 is 31 over 25, and leave it improper. And leave it as a fraction because that's exact. Number five, if theta, theta is a Greek letter that we use to represent um, an angle or the measure of an angle. So if theta is a positive acute angle, you can put theta here or here because they're both positive and acute. I'm going to put it here. Okay. So if the sine of the angle is 6 over 10 and sine is opposite over hypotenuse, that means the sine of opposite is the 6. The hypotenuse is 10. We need to find the tangent, which involves the side adjacent. So this is a Pythagorean triple. It's opposite over adjacent. So this is, what's the, Sean? What's that? No, it's not 4. It's the 6 blank 8 times. So 6, 8, 10. So now adjacent, again, the side adjacent will always be one of the sides that forms the angle. So adjacent, we're going to have is 8, opposite is 6, and that reduces to 3 fourths. Number 6, use special right triangles to write the cosine of 45. So go ahead and write out your special right triangle for the 45, 45, 90. We know these two sides are the same. And to be honest, you can put in real nu numbers if you want. Okay, you can put in any numbers that work. I'm going to use the algebra. So the relationship is x, x, 
x radical 2. And when it wants the cosine of 45, you can look at either one of those 45 degree angles. You can also check your trig table to see what the decimal is. If it doesn't tell you, okay, to get it from the table, we need it in fraction form, okay? So let's look at this 45 degree angle. Doesn't matter which one you look at. Cosine of 45 is adjacent, ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be um, x over x radical 2. Now I just need to simplify that. x over x is 1, or you can say that they cancel out. So I'm going to move it over here. So now I have 1 over radical 2. And because you have an irrational denominator, we need to rationalize it by multiplying by radical 2 over radical 2. So we get radical 2 over 2.